Up next, everyone, please put your hands together for Mohammed. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I am Muhammad Alwemi, and I'll be presenting uh, the topic zoos. Are they good or bad? So, uh, at start, uh, at start, I went to, to a zoo with my uh, with my father, and I saw. Uh, lots of interesting creatures, lots of uh, creatures that I didn't even thought they would exist. That made me th think, what is, what's out there in the world? And uh, it helped me to want to go more and outside the, uh, just my country. So, the thing about zoos is that there are animals trapped to, uh, within cages. So. Uh, and maybe one thing, uh, are they good or bad? Before we go on, just to recap, uh, kind of. Uh, zoo are uh, places that uh, you, you see the animal in, in an establishment or a place to be. So, the first zoo was in Egypt and uh, it was a very long time ago. It's not something new or been innovated uh, just recently in the modern days. So, Again, uh, my theory, my opinion about zoo is that zoo are good, uh, and I think they are necessary. Uh, uh, they've been around for a long time, and uh, we still have a large population of the animals. But one, a lot of people, a lot of Bashi, will say that zoos are bad for a uh, lot of reasons. We'll take the most two famous uh, of them. Uh, zoos force animals into cages and they prevent them from living their wild life and their supposed life. Uh, one very famous case uh, those uh, people will uh, uh, always say is Maggie the elephant. Maggie the elephant uh, is an uh, is an elephant that been kept uh, been bought by the Alaskan Zoo uh, from. Uh, while she was uh, one year old and while she was staying in that zoo she had uh, lots of uh, problems with her feet and uh, she couldn't stand she fell at least two times uh, during her stay at the zoo it wasn't until then the Alaskan Zoo uh, gave in to public peer pressure to release her into co the Californian uh, wildlife refugee so if, uh, if it wasn't, uh, if, it's, if she weren't been released to the wildlife, she would have been dead in the zoo. Uh, but let's not forget that if the zoo didn't bought her in the first place, the, she would have left to die uh, in Africa, and there will not be any Maggie to begin with. So uh, that's why I come to the fact that. Uh, that's why I believe that zoo are good uh, for many reasons. Uh, but again, I'll just take the two of what I believe the most: uh, conser conser conservation for endangered species, and nice. uh, it helps saving them from dying in the wild. Uh, again, with the story of Maggie, uh, if it wasn't for the zoo. Uh, there will not be any Maggie. And I have another story that may interest you and entertain you throughout my presentation. Uh, Knut, the polar bear cub. He's the very famous German mascot. Uh, the story of this uh, young polar bear is that since birth, he's been rejected by his mother. And uh, if, if it wasn't for the zookeepers, there will not be any Knut. Imagine him being birthed in the, out there in the wild um, and been rejected since birth from, uh, by his mother. I don't know why his mother didn't like him, maybe because she got divorced or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, thanks to Thomas, uh, Thomas Darolufan, uh, the caregiver and 
This is his, uh, his next to the pair. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't help, uh, the pair wouldn't have a fighting chance in life and lived his full lifespan as a polar bear and been successful in a breeding uh, program to uh, help these endangered species. So, one may ask right now, okay, uh, we believe in saving lives. Why zoo in particular? Well, a very good reason for why zoo and not just wildlife refugee. By the way, wildlife refugee is like a, uh, occupying a big area in nature and just uh, trying to uh, save them from danger while they're in their wildlife. So why zoo? Zoo, because there's a lot of people uh, such as PETA and uh, activists that are against uh, interfering with the life of the wild uh, animals. So zoos are built to be open for the public to uh, help win their support so, and to show that their intention is as pure as gold, uh, pure as diamond. So it's also, for, for my personal, this is in their website as Zoo and Aquarium. Uh, in my personal uh, theory as well, that it helps them pay for the expenses and uh, public can see and learn. So uh, let's wrap it up. Um, I do believe that uh, zoo are very good uh, and it can help lots of wildlife. Uh, a lot of endangered species will die if we do not intervene in the first place. We build lots of uh, skyscrapers and stuff. We kind of take over their lands, so they're going to die. It's the bare least that we can do to help try to save these endangered species. We do need zoos uh, to uh, to help uh, to save these endangered species. And who knows? Maybe we can get medicine and. Uh, agriculture or other beneficial stuff, not just uh, them staying, uh, standing there being cute. So uh, next time, uh, next time when you decide to go in a zoo, do not think about it as a guilty pleasure, but think about it as saving a life. Thank you very much. One more time, give it up for Mohammed. Yeah, all right. Um, coming up with our first, second place, and third place winners. Okay, all the contestants come up and stand up and receive an applause. Yeah. While the judges work on that, we just want to take a picture. Can you guys scoot over? Everyone who gave a presentation, please come up to the front. Yeah. Judges, are you guys going to stay there or are you guys going to... Melissa. There, okay. Yeah, let's make... Nicole, can you organize them into a straight line here, please? All right. Mohammed, come up to the front. One straight line, please. Ladies? Okay. Yeah. Let's give them all a warm round of applause. Good job, guys. Very, very good job. Now, of course, it doesn't matter. We know that the winning and losing is not what's important. What's important is that participation. Okay? And we would like to give all contestants something just to show that you are winners. Each contestant, whether or not you want or lose, you get a new iPad! Once again, before we hear the, the decision, one more round of applause for all the contestants! Woo! The lovely Paula. Oh. Okay, good afternoon everybody. First of all, congratulations to all the contestants. You've done a wonderful job, so you deserve a round of applause. Right? It was a very, 
very difficult decision, okay? Um, they were all interesting topics, and you guys have done an amazing job. So we're going to start with the third place. Uh, the third place goes to... Dun, 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 Mohammed! <laughs> Andreas is, is upstairs giving an oral exam, so he's he's not here to be with her, but I'll stand next to you, okay? Don't worry. All right, here we go. Very good. Congratulations, everybody. This is going straight to EB. <laughs> wait, okay. Yes, wait, yes. Marajaya Ahsan. Next time is better, hopefully. That's what I said. <laughs> 